Hello and welcome to Business Application Studio, also known as BAS. In this course, we will first activate our BAS instance in SAP Cloud Platform and see how we can create a simple SAP UI5 app and push the app to SAP Cloud Platform and understand the basic MTA and YAML file structure, what are the properties for what task and we will also see the application logs and test a very basic simple application. Then we will go forward and create a Northwind OData API integration to our application and see how we can preview data in SAP UI5 application both with preview and also after deployment of a application which is using Northwind services. Then we will also integrate the application to our on-premise ECC system and we are going to do that with and without Cloud Connector. We are going to see both the ways in details. We will also see how we can utilize existing SAP services from NetWeaver Gateway and create our own UI5 or Fury app and use those services. We will look also into multiple ways to connect systems with BAS, with Cloud Connector and see what are the system component which are required so that you not only use the existing service of Gateway but also you can deploy your UI5 or Fury application to the ABAP workbench in your on-premise system. We would then deep dive into SAP UI5 apps and see what are the new components or new files which are required for development of a SAP UI5 application and we will look this with the example of existing application structure from SAP Web ID and we import it to the BAS and we will try to manually create and understand this new components one by one. We are going to see the UI5 tooling, YAML file structures, packet.json, npm commands, UI5 tooling commands to build, run and serve in details. Here we are also going to deep dive into debugging and see how to migrate the destination setting as well of an existing application which you have in your SAP Web ID as well. And finally, we would be creating our SAP Cloud Platform workflow application with BAS and deploy the workflow in the SAP Cloud Platform. We would also create SAP UI5 application to use the workflow API so you can start the workflow instance or talk to the workflow instance with the API. Now in this case we will be also deep diving into the use of XSUAA authentication via app router and we are going to create all this customization manually and we will see how the MTA YAML file need to be changed, how the routes need to be changed. So all that will provide you a good understanding and confidence again on UI5 application development and customization. Now this course also has multiple miscellaneous topics like how you can create and deploy a CAPM application or change the theme of BAT or how to use the terminal, what are the common terminal commands or shortcuts you need to know while developing with BAS. Now this course will provide you the confidence and experience to work with SAP UI5, Fury, CAPM application in both cloud and on-premise system. So join this amazing course to start learning Business Application Studio also known as BAS and my name is Ajay Naik and I'm going to see you in this course.